Good day everyone, this is Dara Nava from Zambales Realty and today we will be doing a relocation survey here on our 5.5 hectare property in San Antonio, Zambales. This is a river lot with mountain view with nearby beaches and tourist destinations. Relocation survey is a procedure or process for owners and buyers to determine the limitations and boundaries for their property or the properties they will buy. But before anything else, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button on this video and hit also that notification bell so you won't miss properties like this. So let's begin. Hi, I'm Dara Nava from Zambales Realty and I'm happy to meet you on our channel where I'm introducing you to the best properties for sale in Zambales. Zambales is known for its natural wonders but it is also a place where commercial and social activities never stop, be it summer or rainy season. Is that all? Absolutely not, but it's time for now to see our today's offer. So enjoy this beautiful view and I'll see you on the other side. Have you ever seen someone in a hard hat with a tripod and strange looking stick standing by the side of the road or a property? If so, you probably wondered what that person was doing. Well, wonder no more. That person was most likely a land surveyor and he or she was probably taking a variety of precise measurements with specialized surveying equipment to determine exactly where property boundary lies and where it is located. Land surveyors use high-tech equipment and good old-fashioned mathematics to create maps and measurements of lands. And if you're wondering why such a service is needed, you may be surprised to find out that almost every property development project begins with a survey. Here's what you should know about this important service. There are several reasons why you might want to conduct a land survey. Are land surveys the only type of option available when it comes to solving disputes or planning existing or new developments? In this video, we'll be discussing what is a land survey and what other types of surveys are available when it comes to real estate and clearing up confusion in general. And also, for today's episode, we are here on our 5.5 hectare property with amazing and awe-inspiring mountain view and river inside your property that will definitely energize you every morning just by hearing the flowing river and the sounds of nature. Like us on Facebook because we have lots of properties like this on our page. Please also subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss properties like this. You may also get in touch with us via our email and book your property viewing and tripping through our contact number posted. So, what is a land survey to begin with? In its most basic terms, it is a graphic layout of a property it maps the legal boundaries and other features of a property that might be needed when it comes to solving any issues that might be brought up during the real estate deals and transactions. They can be valuable tools to use to clarify any disputes. It's a way of measuring structures and locating existing features of a property. Why do we need to get a land survey? Land surveys aren't always required in real estate transaction, but they can be useful for solving any issues or ongoing disputes. 
that might occur between the buyer and the seller of the property. Now, going back on this property, since this is already sold, we are now conducting a relocation survey. Now, what are relocation surveys and its purpose? Well, just like other types of surveys, relocation surveys involve the precise identification of established land and its corners. The main purpose of this kind of survey is to re-establish re the boundaries of a tract for which a survey has previously been made and to verify if existing location of the property overlaps to adjoining lots. What are the requirements for a relocation survey? First is the copy of a tax declaration and a copy of land title if there is. What will the client get after the relocation survey? Number one is a sketch plan signed and verified by a licensed geodetic engineer. Second is the placement of concrete monuments, mohon, on the corners of established boundaries. What are the client's benefits and guarantee? First, knowledge of the exact boundaries of your land will help you avoid expensive encroachment disputes and conflict between you and your neighbors. Isn't it lovely? Second, guaranteed precision of land measurements using state-of-the-art technology and equipment. So these are the benefits and guarantee one will get on a relocation survey or in other types of survey. What are other types of surveys? Number one is the subdivision surveys. Subdivision surveys is the process of splitting a tract of land into a smaller parcels. Number and size of smaller land parcels will be determined by the owner, geodetic engineer, or the designer. Second is the consolidation survey. It is a remapping of two or more adjacent plots or parcels of land combining them into one larger parcel. This is in contrast with the subdivision survey. Going back, once the survey work is completed, a map that indicates the new combined parcel of land will be reflected on the approved consolidation survey plan and marks the new legal boundary of the consolidated piece of land. Original Survey this third type of survey, it is a survey of existing property lines made when the surveyor has not found a map or other document of the subject property, such as approved plans and lot status, which represents a previous surveyor's professional work. Fourth, resurveys. It is a type of survey of a property lines made when the surveyor has found a prior survey of the subject property. After evaluation of the prior survey within the context of field and record information where errors are found and verified, a resurvey will be done. Next one is the verification survey. It is a type of survey that will verify the accuracy of the cadastral survey. Next one is the Site Development Surveys. Now, this is a type of survey that focuses on the area where work is proposed to gather information for design or an estimate to complete the task required. It can determine a precise location, access, best orientation for the site, and the location of the structures to be built. Going back to the general forms of survey, what will the clients get after survey? One is the sketch plan signed and verified by and only a licensed geodetic engineer, which we have one in Zambales Realty. Second, technical description signed and verified by a licensed geodetic engineer once again. Third, Placement of concrete monuments or mohon on the corners of established boundaries. Take note, 
processing of documents will follow for the survey plan to be approved by the DANR regional office. After the conduct of survey, four titled lots, clients need to submit the deed of conveyance, and for untitled lots, which is tax declarations, clients now need to submit the following for survey authority approval. Number one is deed of conveyance. Second is the barangay certification. Third is the court certification. Take note, deed of conveyance is the legal way of transferring legal rights of ownership of immovable property from one person to another. This is the mode of transfer, whether it is through sale, donation, and etc. And upon approval of a survey plan, clients will receive the following documents, which is one of the requirements for the land title application. One is the approved original plan in sepia. Second is the approved original plan in blueprint. Third is the technical description of the approved original plan. So these three are the requirements once you applied for the land title application of your recently surveyed property, whether it is subdivided or consolidated. Ano lang po, ganun ganun lang yung mga puno-puno lang yun. Like us on Facebook because we have lots of properties like this on our page. Please also subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss properties like this. You may also get in touch with us via our email and book your property viewing and tripping through our contact number posted. Here are some reasons why you might want to get a land survey. First is to resolve boundary issues. Boundary issues can often be a common reason as to why land surveys are conducted when there are disagreements over where one person's property begins and ends. It's important because every square meter can count when it comes to making money on a property as a seller. Second, pinpoint plot size and price. With land surveys, being able to know how big a plot size is can help dictate the price of the property. As a result, it can be a great way to negotiate when it comes to buyer who want to try or bargain if the plot is smaller than what is being listed. It can be a great advantage for individuals who are planning to buy a property. Next one is build a new home. If you're in the position to build your own home, then it's a good idea to conduct a land survey. It can help find places where you can build the main structure or perhaps establish the location of the drainage system. What to look for in a land survey? When it comes to getting a land survey, you want it to include the property's boundaries and any improvements that could be made as a result. Any setbacks and restrictions that the property has will also need to be identified through this survey and whether it's on a floodplain or not, just like in this property with a body of water to which a 3 meter easement from the river is needed to be indicated in the survey. And just a short trivia, easement is a grace distance from the body of water to your property. You cannot build a structure or own the land that is within that easement area. In case here in the Philippines, for small bodies of water like in this property, a 3 meter easement is a standard and whereas to the larger bodies of water such as ocean, lakes, and big rivers, there is a 20 meter easement from the body of water that is required. Meaning, you can only own a waterfront property given that it is a 20 meters from the major body of water like that of the ocean and other waterfront beachfront properties. A land survey should also include a written description that is included within the property deed because not all properties have the visual boundary markers needed. How can we help? When it comes to looking for the right land surveyor, it is vital to find the right company, which is we at Zambales Realty comes in the picture. 
with over years of experience in the industry of real estate, legal, and engineering, you can guarantee nothing but the best, whether you need one individual to survey or multiple. Whatever the size of the project is a successful real estate transaction is not only a dream but a reality which is why this company exceeds national standards with innovative management and state-of-the-art technology you can expect efficiency consistency and accuracy with all our services land surveys are an essential part of real estate transaction where certain disputes or inquiries require a solution whether it is a commercial building or a new home, it can be handy to have one of these surveys conducted to help solve problems that could delay the process or hinder any opportunities for a successful sale on a property. If you're looking at getting a land survey, assess what is needed and required so that you can pick the right survey for a specific property or project. I came across this question on a list of the most beautiful ones ever asked. Strange list for someone to make, I agree, but the question caught me by surprise and made me pause. When was the last time I experienced something for the first time? In no particular order, I started listing off my first times in my head. There was the first time, my first date my first day of school, the first day at a job, driving a car, swimming in the ocean, there was the first time I run a race, the first time I have finally found a place to settle down, a place I called home. And our journey for today takes us to this perfect paradise that is first time to be seen only here in Zambales Realty. So let's begin. A land surveyor is part scientist and part artist. This individual researches what the recorded boundaries are for each inspected property. This research helps the land surveyor know how to read the land and establish justifiable survey markers. As land surveyor, the individual does more than just to demarcate property boundaries and measure the size of a residential or commercial site. They also inform real estate developers about where utility lines, roadways, and existing buildings are located in relation to the focal property. Additionally, they determine where mining claims exist. The surveyors add all of this information, including soil conditions and land easements, to a map so that their findings are permanently recorded. Every job has its challenges. Land surveying is no different. Every day brings different issues to resolve that don't always respond to quick fixes. However, there are a few challenges that are quite common to the profession, and we would like to provide an overview for your special consideration. Let's look at six challenges land surveyors may face on the job. Number one is time. Time is a common issue for the land surveyor, but we aren't talking about time management or organizational problems. Instead, the vast amount of time some owners hold rural properties can present a challenge for the surveyor. In short, a property that has been in a family for generations has undergone changes that are not reflected in the original deed. All surveys, takes and witness trees have disappeared. 
riverbeds, and streams change channels. The physical evidence upholding the legal land description has simply vanished into the mist of time. On top of vanished markers, accommodations for neighbors, and other understandings that were never formally documented can blur the property lines. Sometimes, catching the current owners by surprise. Strips of land that have long been used by everyone around are found to be private property or a fence has been placed along an incorrect boundary but never corrected. A new owner come along and the first survey in decades highlights all the changes. Sometimes the surveyor applies as much art as science in defining the boundaries of a multi-generational property. Second, weather and seasonal changes. Weather and the changing of the seasons can present another challenge. The perfect environment for a surveyor is rarely to be found. Land surveyor could wish that all the trees were bare, the ground clear of any leaves and bushes with comfortable temperatures and the right light. You don't often have this luxury in surveying. Land surveyors have a hearty appreciation for the perfect spring day that is all too often absent on the date you are scheduled to work. Third is the traditional survey frameworks versus the GIS. In terms of technology, the states are still playing catch-up. Their surveying frameworks are out of date and do not account for new GIS-enhanced surveying methodologies. With GIS being so prevalent in the field, the mismatch with outdated frameworks is a real issue. If the state in which the surveyor works has not updated its framework and the surveyor uses a geographical information system or the GIS that is not recognized by the established legal framework, he or she may not be legally protected or recognized within that state. However, lawmakers have long been aware of the deficiency and have pushed to include GIS into their legal property surveying process. Next is the issue of as-builts. As-builts are pre-construction drawings that establish a record of the size, shape, and location of structures and improvements on surveyed properties. Unfortunately, during the construction process, building contractors may disregard or amend as-builts. Contractors are normally responsible for combining final property drawings from surveyors into a thorough as-built, although many fail to do so. They either don't know how to make a usable as-built or believe the task isn't worth the effort. Other contractors either fail to understand the project's requirement or postpone the as-built procedure until construction is completed. Last one is adverse possession and paper streets. According to the legal framework of that time, the original developers of all their neighborhoods may have been forced to submit a design for every inch of the property before gaining construction permits and this approach gave rise what are we known as paper streets or streets that start on paper but never became built. After the survey or after the community construction is completed, the developers may not require all of the planned streets or alleyways and hence do not construct the highways as marked on the original plans. Like us on Facebook because we have lots of properties like this on our page. Please also subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss properties like this. You may also get in touch with us via our email and book your property viewing and tripping through our contact number posted. <laughs> Thank you.
Surveyors play an integral role in land development, from land subdivision planning and design to the final road, utility, and landscaping construction. Surveyors are the first people to calculate and chart the land on any construction site. Then architects use these key measurements to understand and make the most of the landscape while designing and engineers to plan structures correctly and safely, ensuring that buildings not only fit in with the landscape but can be constructed. In order to be visible to those standing on or near the property, it is important to mark the boundaries on the surface. It is also intended to provide the evidence required by the title insurer to exclude some default exceptions to coverage and thus provide extended coverage for off-record title issues, including issues that would be discovered through an objective survey. Most property in previous surveys, names, easements, and wildlife crossings has significant problems with incorrect bounding and calculations. Also, many assets are produced over the years from multiple divisions of a larger piece and the risk of miscalculation increases with each additional division. The result may be properties that do not coincide with adjacent parcels leading to gaps and overlaps. A licensed surveyor is the only person legally allowed to conduct a survey to mark your property's boundaries. A licensed surveyor must identify the land boundaries and should provide a certified plan on request that ensures that the project has been successfully completed. It is vital to understand that surveys conducted by non-licensed surveyors do not have legal status or standing and in the event of a boundary dispute will not be and never be accepted as evidence. The risk is not worth it, so make sure that you only use or hire a licensed professional to track your property. Without traffic congestion and the rush of people to worry about, there is no need to wake up earlier than the rest of the world or to skip breakfast to be early for work. Arguably, the most prominent example of good living in the Philippines is within the province of Zambales. Relatively at a distance from Metro Manila, both geographically and socially, the region has popular shopping centers and brands as well as opportunities for work or business. But it is also blessed with a cool climate and captivating views that help preserve one's wellness and peace of mind. Second, traffic is manageable, if not non-existent. With slow living, many cities and municipalities in province and in Zambales are patterned after the Spanish town, meaning essential establishments such as churches, schools, town halls, plazas, and other destinations are within walkable distances. This factor reduces the need for private vehicles, thus providing more public transit carriageways, particularly tricycles and jeepneys in more prominent localities. The only exception would be during fiestas, holidays, and the early morning and late afternoon rush hour. Nonetheless, traffic would be less inconvenient than those in more extensive urban areas. Third is the 24-7 access to fresh produce. Especially in coastal town and agricultural municipalities, access to fresh produce could be as close as the backyard. Due to fresh air, water, and spacious lands ideal for farming, a home in province could also accommodate a small farm. In most cases, 
it is common practice in the province for neighbors to give each other fresh fruits and vegetables which fosters a sense of community. At the same time, it's also a simple way to save money. Zambales, for example, is one of the country's most notable sources of fresh produce. And for all the best reasons, its spring-like climate all year round and its geographically make it an ideal agricultural site. And not to mention, Zambales is an excellent location for farming and fishing respectively. Aside from play areas, many provinces offer wide open spaces for adults to walk, jog, and exercise throughout the day. Combined with their scenic views, this can ultimately result in healthier lifestyles. Last one is the ideal home. While there is still considerable portion of the local population, especially the young working class, who are attracted to the fast-paced lifestyle of urban communities, there is no doubt that the province has always been synonymous with settling down. And it is only by settling down that one can genuinely say that one has come home. There are three takeaways we have for today's episode. One is the importance of availing the services of a licensed surveyors. Second is how majestic and magical are the real estate properties in Zambales. And lastly is that when buying a property, make sure that it's Zambales Realty so you can safely and securely purchase properties of your dreams. Zambales Realty also offers engineering services such as relocation, subdivision, segregation, topographic original survey, hydrographic survey, construction survey, parcellary survey, cadastral survey project, and many more. We also offer documents processing such as titling services for transfer and original certificate of title. We also have legal services for legal documentation for comprehensive research of property and status and other due diligence. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss an offer like this because we're always on a lookout for best property deals to share with you. Stay safe! And we are done with our relocation survey for the day and we would like to express our thanks to our geodetic engineers in Zambales, Engineer Arnel and Franklin Macedonio, for assisting us in determining the limitations and boundaries of the properties that is being purchased by our clients. And if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and on our YouTube channel so you'll never miss properties like this. This is Darren Shanava, your host, signing off. Ciao! Are you selling your property? Get it featured on our channel. Send us videos of your property.
at darrenshanava at gmail.com. Let's get it sold. We make buyer and sellers meet. Don't forget to subscribe for more properties.